Hey guys, um, welcome. Quite a time I haven't uh, uploaded a video, but I wait a little bit just to get my reveal from Nyx before I and use them before um, I do a video. I just want to show you guys the chocolate, my chocolate rough outs. I sent it to reveal. Um, <laughs> the middle, the middle was quite stiff already from many uh, water working on plumbing and sewer and it got very stiff so I have to do a rebuild so this is the brown wax flesh and guys you guys make a tremendous good tremendous good um, work with this rebuild this is my first toe cap I really recommend the toe cap if you're hitting a lot of stuff um, I just use this boot maybe two three days a little hits here Nothing really special. Um, honey Biberm. I tried to do the most comfortable one. And because I add a lot of wax here on the uppers, as you can see, I make a wax treatment with this wax. So I decided to use some wax flesh on the bottom instead of just taking the same chocolate rough out and do the treatment again. So it saved me a lot of time and trouble and this is really easy to maintain just giving some venetian cream and take a lot of venetian cream put one quote very heavy application let it dry brush it and add again some venetian cream you can do two three times uh let it soak and it's just what you need it's just harwin made the venetian cream exactly for chrome excel and wax flesh so what better to use than the original recipe let me show you the the brown wax flesh it's amazing as you can see here it's gonna show a little more the scuffings but as soon as we try to blend the wax it may go so check this is the grain this is my chocolate. This is how chocolate is going to look when, when you get it very dark. It looked like walnut. But this was chocolate. So Nick's made a very good job with this food. I'm very happy. So I, uh, I'm going to use this one exactly for plumbing and stuff like that. When there's a lot of wet vitamins, rain, stuff like that. Um, this is not waterproof. But it's going to help me. It's gonna help a little bit better. This one on the waterworks. So, and a little update too with my rough out tan tetans, which is the max support rough, tan rough out. So just a little, a little update on these ones. <laughs> I use these ones a lot lately. Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't working a lot on the field this year. I got a lot of more contracts and uh, I got more employees. I got more subcontractors working with me. So I'm in charge more of the getting material, logistics, inspections, stuff like that. Something that is not my, it's not what I love. I love to be on the field, but someone has to do this. And in order to be efficient, I have to sacrifice myself. But, well, spending. A lot of time with inspections with this leather check out I um, apply some paint to the to the edge the brown the fiblings edge paint color brown this was Navoc right now it's just starting to, to lose like the kiltis you can see the more the grain here how already it's start, some some spots starting to be like that, so, especially the heel. It's starting to lose the grain more. It's something that I, I love a ruffle. I love it. Some people don't like it because as soon as the grain go, it's gonna look smooth. But I think it's the character of the boot, and this is really easy to maintain. Of course, like this spot, this black spot is gonna stay there. It's been it's gonna be quite hard to take off, but I think it's part of the process. And the patina so you can rebuild 
and it's gonna they're gonna take 90% of this stain. So you just add some Navoc or Soot shampoo, brush it the more that you can, and give oil. That's it. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. This is very easy maintenance. Um, let me show you the other one. And this is the mini lock. It's been holding pretty good. A lot better than the Red Wing. I don't know why. Not, I'm not sure if this one is a little thicker, but it's been holding pretty good. The heel, everything. And of course, the laces. Uh, this one were, were made on May. I think it was an um, eight and a half double E. And this one's May 21. There you go. Yeah, so I, I use double E. I should use maybe triple or I think F. And you can see here this portion of the boot. When I put the boots on, it's a little off, off the edge. But um, I don't mind. I like my boot be a little snug. Which is not super snug. It's like when you put a glove. When you put a leather glove and fits just perfect. It's the way. It's the same way here. If I use a wider boot. Uh, I'm not going to feel comfortable. I'm very comfortable with this. So. There you go. More stains. Sometimes when I'm kneeling or. I'm working. No many, no many scoffing on the front. Check out. So you can appreciate the leather. This is max support again. Tan Tedon. Or rough out max support. Tan. It's a beautiful leather. Look here the grain. I love when it looks like this. When it start the the grain is start to to lose. It's, I love this texture. And I need to work more on these ones. So I can so I can achieve these ones. I love these ones. I love this. So, well, this is my Max support with the Vibram 430 or Mini Lock. And I really encourage you to get the, the Mini Lock. It's very versatile. It's the most versatile um, outsole out there. Have some traction. Quite easy to clean. Not many rocks. This is a, a big problem using the lock soles. You get a lot of mud. When I'm doing plumbing, I use these ones, and you have to take off the mud, the rocks, everything, the chunks of, of, of soil that's gonna be inside of the locks. And you, you it's, it's sometimes you want something easier or not to make many mess. My wife hates me when I get home full of chunks. And of course, I stay out of, out of the house cleaning the boots, but it's, these ones are a lot easier to with a scrub. To scrub it and a lot of easy maintenance too so I it's you is this you're gonna get your first pair of sneaks I highly recommend you get the b-bar or the mini lock is the the best one and then you can decide if you need something rugger or not well guys you already know this boot I'm thinking I'm gonna send this rebuild maybe next year in March in February um, I'm feeling like I know it's not that eating here, but I'm feeling a little movement when walking, as you can see. So, or I may change only the heel cap. And this is just the way I walk. Nothing grown about the, about the heel pad. So, some, still some life here, but I don't want to damage too many of these, this portion. So I want the full, the full sole, the full outsole. And in contrast, this is a 64 brown rough out. Um, yes, this is brown. And this is Max Support 10. And it looks almost similar because I add a lot of oil here. Just one heavy oil application. I haven't added oil in this one. Just Saphir, the, the spray with almond oil. It looks almost identical, but next month, I'm, I'm gonna have to add oil to this one. So I think these are a, a little dry and they're asking me, screaming, to give some conditioner. Look. There you go. 
So they almost look similar, but you can see a bit the difference. I think it's light. this is a little more brown and this is more a darker color. But once I give oil to these ones, it's gonna change. And I think it's time, it's time already to add some oil. It really is. There you go. I use these ones a lot driving. It's a plenty, a big joy using these ones, the Renegades. Soft toe. I know it doesn't look that great, but it feels so great that I don't care. I love to use this one driving when I'm driving a lot. This one and the Red Wings, the Red one that I got. And but I think I'm gonna change the, the sole, a little sole, um, to add a little height, make it a little up, so I can have a, a, a little bit of better walking. I think it's a little down, but it looks it looks and feel amazing. I don't have to use the straps anymore. I can cut the straps if I want. Um, honestly, uh, uh, I tried I tried this boot taking off the straps, and <laughs> I don't need the straps anymore. Once once you use this, I found now in this Renegade, the once the the band uh, mold to your foot and go flat in this area. Of course, when they always came came like this, something like this, and now already. It's flat, it gets, it, it took my, it take my instep very well. And I don't need the buckle anymore. I don't need this strap. Um, I tried to take off this buckle and it's, it's perfect. Like I don't need the buckle anymore, but I'm not sure if it's going to look great cutting this strap. So let's see, let's see what happens but it may look like a blend a hybrid um cowboy boot not sure yet but of course i think it needs oil already i feel it i feel the dryness and this is very smooth the upper i think uh well guys this is just a little update on the boots i have to make uh, a lot of videos i know but i have come in I have a surprise for you guys, so I'll be ready for those. And well, just wanted to show you my reveal. They make a perfect job here in the stitching. Look, the stitching is perfect. Like, I think it's a lot better than the first time. They made an amazing job in the reveal. They took off all the bottom, the heel, and check out this stitching. I don't know who made it, but this guy deserves a beer. A bear? No, a bottle of tequila. Un tequilazo pal compa. This guy made an ex exceptional job. Like, check this, brothers. I'm, I'm surprised. I don't know who was, but guys, you deserve a lot of tequila. They made an amazing job. I think this is the, the, the best stitches that I own. And I love the toe cap. Guys, hope you like it, and if you have questions, let me know, send me an email, check my Instagram account, send me a message, I, I've been getting a lot of messages, and I try to respond as fast as I can, and God bless you guys, I'm not here to sell uniques, just sharing my, my experience with these guys, it's taking longer each year to get the uniques, so be patient, be patient guys, it's... This is quality boot. This is nothing like the Red Wings, like any other brands. All the PMWs taking more, more, and more time. And don't get mad. I see a lot of posts on Facebook about people getting a lot of anxiety, especially the first-time owners, because people who already own Knicks, they don't. They're not in the rush. They know the quality. They already know everything. So be patient, guys. Come on. You're gonna get the best of the best. Um. Happy New Year's, everyone. God bless you. Merry Christmas. And let me know. This is Manny. I wish you the best, guys. Again, God bless you. Bye-bye.